Hello, it's Stella here again with Not a Hurry in No Life. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so uh, I think last we left talk, um, uh, Romano had went for the date and then I just heard of Yeah, I think that's it. Is that it? Excuse the accents. Only the little sounds that come from the background. I don't know where it's at. Anyway, let's go. Antonio was a soldier in the same war as me. Before the war, we were lucky. However, many years later, we both had a long duty to avoid pain and I'm thinking that I don't feel like get at this moment. That was when we decided to break up, so that if one of us didn't possibly make it out alive, then neither of us would be heartbroken. But that was never the case with me, and I won't believe that it was ever the case with him either. When I was fighting that war, day and night, even through all of the fighting and death around me, in the back of my mind, was always on his smiling face. Even though we had broken up, I couldn't help but think of him, he had never really left my mind. So that's why on that day, when we met by chance, when taking shots or wondering in that abandoned building, my bed had hitched in my throat. My heartbeat had accelerated by a tenfold, despite the very sight of his glowing emerald eyes again. My heart felt a rush of emotions at that very moment. I believed that he was alive, happiness because he was right there in front of me. But what, hit, what really hit me was how I had managed to fall in love with him all over again in that very moment. One year later. That's not from Antonio again. Since then, I've started like moving on with my life. I've changed a lot since that day. I tried a lot in the past of the back then, but. That's all being the Friday we used to be back then. I started working with Gilbert first. Gilbert was always my complimenting, but yeah, I left. Gilbert was always complimenting himself, but he always made me get up on my own two feet and fight for the things I really wanted. I wasn't ever allowed to get something when he was there. He made me angry sometimes, but he was always there for me. He helped me through a lot of shit that I've been through. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to have met him. Hey, don't tell us! Sorry, I don't know what to do there. Hey, don't you dare give up on me now. I really can be a famous author if you try, you know. And by try, I will seriously try. Not that I'm part of the center of publishing your book. Just because you've been a little long by one publishing company doesn't mean anything. There are plenty, yeah, other ones that you probably love your book. The publishing company will regret it. They definitely are awesome book. Yeah. That's the best seller in the future. Trust me, I know this thing. I guess you're best. Thanks. Thanks. I think I'll go and then I'll uh, book to another company right after work today. Yes. That's the best seller in the future. Keep your head up high and don't you dare look down ever again. You hear me? Raise your fire. The great book we have to go down history after my book has this source. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you'd better split the pay of your money once the gold starts rolling in. After all, Rosen was the one who motivated you in the first place. <laughs> Send your fucking dream, you idiot. Hey, so that's awesome! I have also written a book this past year. The title of it is. Hasta la vista, Oh my god. So I made to I had to wait for all my customers to finish shopping before I could close down the shop and rush here. I hope I don't make you wait too long on video. Hello, Arthur Abino, anybody in there? 
here and here. Okay, what the hell do you want? What do you mean, what do you want? Aren't you about to go to a new contract? Or did you forget already? No, I remember very clearly, it is. I was just surprised, uh, was all. I said that what the truth was, when I put had run up to me so quickly with that find of expression on his face, Thomas was shuttling what he did, he said. I was a little expected, but to come. I believe that the same event would happen to me again. I told him, but for once I was glad I had been corrected. Surprise? Are you so surprised about seeing me? Do you think I was not gonna cry? Damn it, I knew what I was thinking. Uh, of course not. I knew you were going to come. After all, who would you want to go on a day with a hot sexy Italian like me? Ha ha ha! You're as funny as always, I think. When I hear promise is someone, someone, something, they always keep that promise. I thought I left anyone down, you know. Don't think so, Logan, the amazing hero. And also, I did decide to try to move on with my Roman life. I had to go on days with the people who had taught me before in the past. They were all happy to try it out. I couldn't that one I tried to date in there. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. I want to hurry up and go on the fucking zipper. Damn it. Professor, we got to be moving back to the The zipper, hell yeah, man. I love their ride. Let's go, go, go. Yeah, what the hell are we, are we doing? What, uh, I want the hell are we doing standing around here for? Let's fucking go. Ha 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 ha. Raise it to the lamp, folks. The movie has to get any better than what I want. With all their, with all their tickets. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring this on, bastard. Prepare to give me all of your tickets so I can get a brand new free laptop. Right back at you, bro. On the count of three. One, two, three! Hey, bastard, that's fucking cheating! I never said that to there were any rules! Ha 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 ha! You'll be a lot of this bottle paper of crap! Take it! Fuck. The beginning of this new life of mine. Start now. <laughs> Keep your fucking head up on it. I made a walk out to a different country and they accepted and the gay guys can whine over how I'm not splitting my pay. Sounds like the perfect fucking plan. Excuse me. Go ahead. Wait a minute. That guy. His voice. Disappeared. It couldn't be. Thank you for coming, thank you for Thank you for coming, my boss! Come again soon! <laughs> no problem, man. I will come back as soon as I write another letter to my mother. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, so, yeah. So, he's not Antonio after all. He looks like Antonio, he's not like Antonio, but he's not Antonio. <laughs> I could have just hurry up and send my box to the company and go home. I'm fucking tired. Hey, hello, little puppy. Okay. Nice walk in the nature. Good to sound to me. It's good to keep a distance. So the fact that fish I eat do not harm my head. That's I do what he says, because I wouldn't want him to keep eating for the fish. Oh god, your accent is really hard, dude. Bye. Oh, brother. Have you seen my big brother? It's nothing. Get out of my way! Thank you. Miss Carter. Hello, welcome to the post office. Did you like to send anything out? We offer the fastest delivery services. Even faster than US Ah! Oh! Oh, yes. Your voice is too high pitched. Yes, I'd like to send us a book, uh, manual script to a publishing company. Certainly, sir. And which publishing company would you like to send this to? I'd like to send it to a kawaii group. Alright, we'll be sure to mail it to them as ASAP or ASAP or whatever. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Alright, alright, alright. I can only hope to find the next of my book. Hmm. Thank you for letting the door open, people. I'm working on something right now. Please don't disturb me. Why are you supposed to be behind the desk, stupid? Who you call it stupid? Okay, can't punch you. Hey, can we get through? 
To say that I've loved. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea or anything, Duster. I'm not calling words some shit like that. I want to tell this to be better. Awkward! Of course, I have to go the same way as that guy. Oh, fucking. If I can't help myself, let's keep moving. And run up in the door. That place is crazy. I've got to follow him. Oh, I'm going to continue. No, actually, I know what it is. Oh. Sorry, I think I've missed it in the second place. This came down for the side and we have to... Take what you want, Antonio, you bastard! You don't know how much I've missed to death! Huh? Yes, I'm going to go around that. Are you feeling better now, Bobby? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. But you want to talk in explanation. What the hell is going on, Bester? Please let me out of that fucking mess. And then you fucking send me up. And then you disappeared for who knows where for a damn year before you came once. Writing back into town with the name of Alvarez. Just, just put your head up in that one, yo. Yes, I'm so lucky. I know I've a little bit of a Guys do all you want to do. But that day, did you wait? I did wait there. I waited for you for so long. I'm sorry for my family looking at me. I'm really, really sorry. Mwah. Aww. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's how for hours. I wanted to go that way, you know? I really did, honestly. I was definitely going to go with you to the festival. That's what I had decided to go with you. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But when I was about to leave my house, I got to you. Sorry, hi! That's like a tiny other boy. Hi there, Lori. You're looking sexy as always. <laughs> What's up with it? Two flirtatious. Was it a flirt of him kind of a flirt? Hmm, how about that? Do I ever have to try? Can I try all of them? Well, I tried this the first time I played here, so. I don't know. Okay, don't judge this. Of course, you look great in here today, as you always thought. You know what would look better on you? My face. <laughs> My face. I can't do that after all. What would look better for me then? Stupid. That's all. I think acting carefully is like a little test. One last try to try to ask. Yes, it's okay. Damn it, I have to talk to you. Alright, I look just fine, can't head out. Right, the entire series. Mama, I'll be leaving her. I'll be leaving now. Yeah, whatever. Go do what you want. You don't need to tell me what you want. Okay, I have to stop here and I'll continue later. Um, see you guys. Whatever, continue, sorry, before I finished. <laughs>